What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Ridge. Today is going down. So everybody was craving oxtails today. Okay. All right. Let me show you a cost-efficient way to cook some oxtails. You mix them up. Remember I told you a while back with beef neck bones. You mix them. You see that? $10. And it's chunk full of meat. You see that there? Yes, sir. That's for the meat eaters out there. Okay. There's the oxtails. 38 look at that that's what you get for 38 dollars you see what i'm saying and i got some beef short ribs right there chunk full of meat six dollars look at the difference so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mix all these together yes sir instead of three packs of oxtails they'll cost you 120 dollars with the tax think about it all right you knock, knock it all the way down to 58 dollars yeah see what i'm saying you're going to get the same flavor, the same taste without all the fat on the oxtails. Because a lot of people don't like the fat on the oxtail. They trim it. No, we like to leave it there. But you get, look at all that. That's a bang for your buck. Remember, your boy told you, mix the beef oxtails with beef neck bones. And you can throw some short ribs in that thing, beef short ribs. Yes, sir. Now, that's a big old pot. But today, we're going to oven roast them things. Yes, sir. We're going to use an oven roaster. And we're going to get to that next. So if you with me, stick with me. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. Let me show you something. Okay, fam. So here's the, the roast oven. I'm going to um, cook the oxtails and beef in. There's a little vegetable oil right there. We're going to use some black pepper. Yeah, sir. Good old black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, brown gravy. I'm also going to use a little all-purpose flour. I don't, I don't have it out here yet, but I will. There's some beef bouillon. Yes, sir. A little kosher salt. Last but not least, Ocho Rios oxtail season. We're going to mix this thing up, and we're going to get it to the right flavor that you need. And it's all just what? Guess what? It's all going to taste the same. I'm telling you, beef is beef. Stick with me. I mixed it up, and it's going to come out perfect. If you want to try this recipe, follow it to a T. So also, first thing I'm going to do is turn the oven up high. This sucker can go all the way up to 450 degrees. You see the name, yes, sir. Okay, so when we when I'm turn it up after I clean these uh, these oxtails off, what I'm gonna do is pat them dry. I'm gonna put a little oil in the bottom of the pan, let it get hot a little bit. I'm gonna add some onions in the bottom of that thing.
What's going on with it? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, no, he didn't. Yes, I did. Look at that family. Oh, M to the G. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, my word today. Okay. So what? They, they fought, they fought, they fought ready. I want them a little tender than that. So we're going to go another 30 to 45 minutes. Hold on. Let me show you. Look at that family. Look at their fork ready. Mmm. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know I have to do it. So I'm going to let them cook about another 45 minutes so they can get just be falling off the bone. Mmm. 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 Stick with me. Wow, we wow. Okay, fam. That's my finished look. Look at that. 
nice and good and creamy. Look at that family. Same time, same back channel. Stick with your boy. Now here's my finished plate. Bam, mama, there goes that man. Now that is definitely a thing of beauty. Nice and simple. Ooh wee, you got the protein, your starch, and your veggies. Stick with your boy. I love y'all in life. G rich out. It's another one. Hope y'all enjoy it. In your mind. Bye, fam. Ooh wee.